In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HTML width command to define the width of certain elements in your HTML. And then after I teach you that, I'm going to tell you not to do that anymore and use CSS instead because it's much more flexible. It can apply to more stuff and is easier to maintain. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. So here we have a simple HTML page laid out. I've created a simple table, just a regular old image, and a paragraph of text. Now the HTML width parameter, you can put it in every HTML element, but it doesn't actually do anything for all of them. And you're going to see what I mean in a minute. So by default, the table will wrap around the size of the biggest uh, element in the table. In this case, only one element, and it just wraps perfectly around my term tiny table. Now we can click into the table tag and type in the word width equals open and close quotations. And I'm going to put in 400 pixels save this file, refresh this page, and we see that this table now expands, and that is, yeah, I've got to take my word for it, 400 pixels. And so the width works for tables. And we can do the same thing for the image. Let's just make the image bigger. I'm just copying and pasting width equals 400 pixels into the image tag, save the image tag, or save the file, refresh the page, and we see the image just got bigger. In fact, now it's the same width as the table. So it must be 400 pixels. And next for the paragraph tag in here, I'm going to click in here, paste the width, save the page, refresh the page, and we see that the width of the paragraph does not change because the width does not work on a paragraph. So that's a case where it does not work. It doesn't work for everything. However, there is a method that does work for everything, and that's called CSS. So we could apply our CSS to all of these um, all these elements at the same time. I'm just going to delete all the width commands we have in the HTML right now. And I'm going to quickly write a short piece of CSS up in the head, open the style tag, close the style tag, and type in, I'm not going to have a selector yet, I'm just going to type in curly brackets, width 400 pixels. Now I'm going to select the table and the image tag and the p tag and now we should have a width of 400 pixels applied to every single one of those if i did that correctly so let's save this file refresh this page and everyone except for the image that's because i missed a comma here i gotta add a comma in there to make it a separate selector refresh this page okay so now everything here is 400 pixels in width and as you can see it even applied to the paragraph tag which didn't work when we put it into the HTML tag as, as the width parameter, but it worked with CSS. And CSS is always the best way to go when you're styling things. HTML, you should just limit to text and images and adding structure to your page. And then anything with styling, like width, colors, borders, anything like that, even the border I have on this table, I have it set as border equals one because I just wanted to do it really quick. It's better to do borders in CSS because it's easier to change in the future and it's considered styling. So keep that in your CSS style sheet. You will thank me later when your website is much more organized. You'll be way happier. So that's how easy it is to define the width of your HTML elements using both the HTML and the CSS. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.